So before we get started, I want to let you guys know that I am doing a giveaway. So if you guys are interested, stay until the end because I am doing a little box of goodies um, for one special winner. So if you guys are interested, continue watching. Hey loves, it's me, Leah. I'm Yue, and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't been, I haven't been on YouTube in like two weeks. It's probably not even been two weeks. Let's check. Oh, you're cute or whatever. Hold on. The last time I posted on YouTube was two weeks ago. Damn. I'm actually going to be filming and editing tonight and then so I can like upload the video tomorrow because I know that I've been lagging. But I've been actually very, very, very active on Instagram and Snapchat. If you guys want to add me on there, if you guys don't have me on there, my name is Mireya Miwe on both. I made a poll on Instagram and I told you guys to spill some tea. I'm going to be reading some of you guys' secrets. And I mean, y'all got some secrets. Before I get to reading all of this tea right here, I have my tea right here and I'm drinking this detox tea right here from Janae's Deja Vu Boutique. I love this tea, especially because I'm a very, 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 very constipated person. I don't know if that's TMI, but um, it's because my window's open, so it's getting a little chilly. Personally, my favorite one is the mango and apple flavor, which is this one. I've tried their lemon one, which it doesn't taste bad, but I just rather this one. Um, and you guys can always use my coupon code Mireya to Ace MUA for some money off your tea. They have like a lot of things like lashes and their lashes are bomb too. They have a little bit of everything, leggings, waist trainers, shapers, whatever you want, they have it, I guarantee you. Little fave, um, I have a joint right here with my name on it. I'm going to be smoking and vibing with you guys. It's going to be like if you guys are here with me, you know. I already opened up my window because... I am going to be smoking. I have my candle lit up right there. And usually that does it. My house doesn't smell like weed. Um, P.S. for anyone that's like tripping about where's Pumpkin right now. Pumpkin is at his dad's for the week. So coast is clear. I can have a me time, right? I feel like joints should be just as you like mothers that like to drink wine or tequila. They're not that bad. Okay, guys. Before you guys come at me in the comment section. Like you think you look cute smoking? Do you think I care if I look cute smoking? I'm kind of ronca. Don't tell my mom because she's going to beat my ass. Because I've been going for jogs in, like, in the mornings. And she told me not to because I'm going to get sick. It's a little chilly in the mornings. And your girl is getting sick. Today I ran so much. Like I jogged so far away from my car. And all of a sudden on my way back it got like really dark. And it started raining and pouring. And... I was over there running, jogging, and cutting, trying to get to my car, but me mojé. I got wet a little bit, so I think I'm getting like ronca. And if I tell my mom, she's gonna beat my ass because she told me. She's like, "Don't be going outside," and I'm just like, "I'm a... I want to jog. I wish I just miss the gym so much." But anyways, let's spark it up. I usually smoke out of my little pipe right here um i'll i'll tag the company's name where i got this from but since i'm gonna be reading i can't really kind of do both i normally just smoke raw cones um no blunts unless i smoke with my brother-in-law um first one my sister-in-law has a new man but her newborn might be his brother's at least she kept it in the family my ex new bitch keeps testing me. She wants me to fuck her up. I feel like the least attention and the least energy you give into a person, the more it bothers them, you know? So just like, fuck the bitch. Just ignore her. That's it. That's just, just ignore her. That's what I do. It makes me more mad. I'm starting to like my ex best friend's ex boyfriend. Me and him are friends and he might like me back. Advice? Don't be that friend. Please don't be that friend. I don't know. I would take that really personal because, um, hello, girl code. But is it really worth it? I'm in love with a guy, but he's in love with my best friend. Y my best friend ni lo pela. Damn, that's tough. Es que a los hombres les gusta la mala vida. I don't understand. I do not understand why. Don't say you're so beautiful. Thank you. Shout out to Mel underscore A-H-N-E-E. -E. Thank you, girl. <laughs> 
I hung out with my ex and his girlfriend showed up and she rear-ended us in his car. Damn, me as a girlfriend. I mean, why are you hanging out with your ex and if he has a girlfriend? I'm happy for him. This one says, I'm talking to two, oh shit, no, not that one. <laughs> read the wrong one this one the other one we'll get to it so it says i found out my boyfriend like almost three years cheating on me so i kicked him out and i found some new dick and it was amazing and i don't feel guilty about it as you shouldn't why would you feel guilty of getting some new pipe shout out to you girl i'm happy for you there's so much chile in this world so why are you gonna like be with the one that's cheating on you this girl's my spirit animal i swear she said i'm talking to two guys at once because i can't trust these I can't say that word, okay, sis? She can't trust these guys. Damn, sis. Can't hate on the player. Shit. You got a big ass heart. My girl best friend turns out to like me, like me, and I don't know how to feel about it. Yeah. I'm just like trying to put myself in your shoes, and I'm just like, if my girl best friend wants to tell me that she likes me, likes me. That's tough. Keep me updated. No me siento feliz con mi pareja, pero no sé cómo decirle y no lo quiero lastimar. Tienes que ser sincera con él y nomás dile que pues ya no eres feliz. Yo prefiero mil veces que a mí me digan que ya no están feliz conmigo a que hagan cosas detrás de mis espaldas. Damn, sis. All right, that escalated quick as fuck. She said, my boyfriend cheated on me, so I'm currently cheating on him with his brother. His brother, though? That's crazy. I messed with my friend multiple times because we have history while he had a girlfriend. I mean, don't be shook when someone else is effing your man, girl. I believe in karma, and I'm me. Karma gets me like quick as fuck. I can do the slightest thing and it just comes back and bites me in the ass. Like, damn, I know I did not deserve it. All right? I mean, not that bad. <laughs> I love doing makeup. I just don't know how to start posting because no one likes me. I seen a quote on Facebook that really um, got to me. And it said, um, if you really want your business to grow, or basically this is going to be about you. So if you really want to grow... Delete all the people that know you and add people that don't know you. I guarantee you that you get 10 times more support from people that don't know you. And I say this ex from experience because I feel like most of my support comes from Texas, comes from California. Um, but a little bit of my percentage of the, the like people that view me are from here, from Detroit, Michigan. All I gotta say, girl, is post whatever the hell you want. At first, I used to be so shy about posting on social media. Um, but now... I get paid, so don't worry about what people gotta say. Worry about your bag. Worry about worry about your goals. Do not be worrying about other people and what they think. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Old girl said, my brother-in-law be giving me some type of luck and he ain't ugly. What is wrong with y'all? What is wrong with you guys? I could never. <laughs> this one is funny. At one time I puked while giving head. <laughs> Girl, what? That's disgusting. I could never, I could just imagine, like, ugh, I'm getting goosebumps right now. Because I have, like, a phobia with throw up, so I, mm -mm. I hate, I will start crying before I throw up. I'm talking to three people and two of them want to make it official. Okay, I go. Okay, so that's what you do. You are going to, uno de día y uno de noche. Estás con él en la mañana? Y luego en la noche, the one that takes you out for dinner. So just have breakfast with one, have dinner with the other, and then just text the other one. But make sure to mute your phone. I came to realize that a lot of people do that, and then they be having the audacity to call me out because my phone's always ringing. And I'm just like, well, yeah, I bet your shit would be ringing too if you didn't turn off the notifications, all right? But y'all ain't ready for that conversation. <laughs> so this one, ever since me and my ex broke up, we haven't stopped texting, and we both already have different partners sometimes it's just hard to let go have you guys seen that meme that says hay chiles que valen la pena or something like that you gotta move on sis 
we all gotta move on. And I'm talking to you. Me or her? Me or her, dude? <laughs> I need to take my own advice. <laughs> She said, I wish I could fuck my assistant manager. Why not? <laughs> this guy hit me up saying he wants to smash. We're both married, mind you. My hubby cheated. I mean, who can play better? I shouldn't say that, right? I should be giving you guys good consejos. Don't do it, sis. He's going to hell. You're not. Or... Fuck it, I mean, we're all going to hell, right? I mean, fuck. I found out my ex cheated on me, and the next day after I found out, I messaged his friend to come over, and we ended up sleeping together. Damn, you're quick. I made a video sucking a banana for some guy in exchange of some fair tickets. <laughs> what? Oh! Oh! I can, there's another part to this. She said, and I took my man at the time to the fair. Why are we so evil? Me and my mans have been going together for about two years now and we still haven't fucked. What? Where they do that at? Really? I'm over here like trying to zoom into their pictures like that's unbelievable. You guys definitely had a fuck. So I'm talking to my ex but he has a girlfriend but he's also responding. I mean, would you guys get mad at the girl or at the guy? I feel like I would be mad at my man for disrespecting me like that, you know? I mean, I don't pay no mind to the bitch. And she said, I hate quarantine. I'm with my man all day and he drives me crazy. I miss my Sancho's. I feel like I relate to a lot of memes, like on Facebook. There's this one meme that says, how are you side chicks doing? You guys missed that woman's husband, huh? That was funny. That's useless. She said, I would sneak my ex when my boyfriend would leave to work. That's fucked up. You see? Am I the only one that's loyal even in the talking stage? Horrible. That's why I, I trust no one, literally no one. I feel like everyone ends up losing interest, you know? Like, like if you're not gonna be down as fuck for a person, then why even bother them? Just do not waste my time. Believe it or not, guys, I do not talk to like people. Like I've been focusing on me. Ain't nobody got time for a man, all right? I cannot, nobody has time for that. Seven, I'll be 27 in December and I'm still a virgin, but sometimes I feel embarrassed. People judge by the looks though i know they do um like, what's it to them shout out to you that's really hard to find do you do not be worrying about what other people think if that's what you want then that's what you want there's someone out there that would respect that you know what i mean old girl said i'm gonna go by so i can have options because these men don't act right so let me tell you guys for the first time ever a girl approached me um like hit me up on instagram and I was shook because like she was really pretty, you know, like she like hit me up and she was like, you're so beautiful. And um, she's like, let me take you out on a date. And then I'm just like, I was shook as fuck, you know, because I feel like no girl has ever approached me like that. So like, why not give it a try? No, I'm not against it. So like, if someone is really out there, like making me happy and you go above and beyond for me. I see why not. I'm not gonna settle for less anymore, like at all whatsoever. Like I cut off people so quick. I do not talk to like, I don't know, I just don't waste my time anymore. I feel like I've, I've done a lot of that before. So I just, I do not have time for that. Um, that's why I haven't been wasting my time. If it, if it comes, it comes, but if it doesn't, like it is what it is, you know? I'm not really focused on my love life right now. How did I even, oh, I'm like, how did I even end up talking about that? You don't know until you experiment. I mean, what if you end up trying and then this whole time you've been sucking chile and that's not even what you're into, you know? You don't know. My eyes look so red, look. This one always gets so low. So like by the end of the video, my eyes gonna be like that. I swear, this eye always gets really, really low. Um, And then the pestañas don't help. I mean, they're kind of heavy, so. But I keep letting it go out because I'm reading. All right.
let's go to the next one this girl said i have sex i have sex over the phone with my boyfriend in mexico i've actually never had phone sex that's interesting though <laughs> This one's funny. This one says, I used another guy to make my boyfriend jealous and to want me more, and it worked. I feel like I keep hearing noises all the time, and it's creeping me out. Because my window's, like, wide open, and I'm like, I don't know. I have a thing about windows and being next to them. It creeps me out. I feel like people will be staring at me. My paranoid as I'm like... <laughs> Once I'm, like, half through the joint, I be, like, overthinking shit, you know? I feel like a los hombres les gusta la mala vida. I lost my virginity to a guy seven years older than me. Damn, I wonder how old you are. It says, I want to get a BBL so when all this coronavirus goes away, I can say it was all home workout. Same. So, like, why are they doing it? Is it open? I'm asking for a friend. I definitely want to get my boobs done. I feel like after it down, my boobs are just not where it's at anymore. Because I know that that doesn't hurt at all, so I'm not scared about that. But, like... A BBL, I feel like I'd rather grow my ass. I mean, I used to have no ass. Now my booty is growing, so like I'm I'm digging it, you know? So why if I'm working on it and I actually enjoy working out on my ass, um, I'd rather not get a BBL. I'd rather to be all natural and muscle. It's okay, it's getting there. If they open the freaking gym, why are they gonna do me like that? I mean if you got the money for it, let's go for it. Said, I don't like my new girl's head game. I don't know what to do about it though because I like her. I mean, you gotta teach her. You gotta teach them what you like. You know, you gotta let them know what your body likes and what you like. So just guide her. Um, if you really like her, just guide her. She said, I accidentally made two guys fall for me, but I'm still hooked up on my ex. That's like most girls, I swear. This one, I'm shook. It says, I slept with my baby daddy's new girlfriend in his apartment. What the fuck? Like, where they do that at? You must got a hella game because... How? My ex from a year ago was so toxic and is still butthurt that his homie can treat me better now. I mean... I mean, I bet he's butthurt. He's lost. Us girls, we're fucking crazy. We do crazy shit. This girl said... I made a fake profile of a girl that has been stalking me and my ex hits her up to flirt and he's engaged. You mean you hit him up? We females are crazy. What is wrong with us? I mean, I know a few girls that have a fake profile and I'm talking to you because I bet you're watching me. What's the point of blocking someone and then making a fake profile to watch them? We could have been friends, sis. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> oh, me throwing some shade. I told my best friend that her man was cheating with my friend. Was I wrong? I don't know you weren't wrong. I mean, if you were my friend, I would, I would love to know. Please, please acknowledge me if my man is ever cheating on me, all right? And trust me, I would never be rude about it. Like, I will... Talk to you like a decent human being. But I cheated on my husband with my high school boyfriend for a year. No regrets. Damn. How does he not know? So there's a guy at work super in love with me and I'm so rude to him. But yet again, he gives me AK every month. And we're just friends, but he tells me that he wants me to have all his money. Say no more. Direct deposit that AK. Same, sis. Where'd you find them? Because I want one like that. Send me AK every month. I will not be mad at all. Ooh, my boyfriend went out one day and said he was going to chill with his friend. A few days later, I saw a charge to his car for a motel. The next part is more crazy. So where's the next part? Oh, there's no next part. A couple wants to have a threesome with me and I kind of want to do it. I mean, why not? If you want to do it, go for it. I'm telling you guys, you guys do not know what you guys like until you try it. You gotta experiment. Like, go out there. I mean, if you want to, you know. I'm not saying go be a ta, But like, you know. She said, this isn't tea, rather a question. Do you break out often since you do your makeup on the daily basis? Honestly, guys, I don't do it like on the daily, daily basis. I mean, just to film and then I take it right off. There's literally nowhere to go. Like, I just did my makeup really quickly to do this video for you guys and then i'm taking it right off because i'm gonna go to bed so um i just take my makeup right off i use it for pictures i just 
you know, getting glam for Instagram and then I'm out. <laughs> and I'm just a bum the rest of the day. I slept with my cousin's van because she was acting real bitchy with me whenever she was with her friends. I mean, you can't just tell her, like, can you not be a bitch? You gotta go fuck her, man. Y'all are unbelievable. I can't even be a bitch without you guys fucking my man. Damn. I don't want to be with my baby daddy anymore, but I refuse to let another bitch around my kid. Honestly, don't be petty. Like, if you do not want to be with that person, do not waste your time and don't waste your time. Uh, don't bring anyone around your kids. Like, I would never bring any guy like no one has ever met my son you know what i'm saying so i wouldn't want someone temporary around my son if you know that you're gonna be with this person for a while you know okay cool if i put this in my situation i wouldn't expect Edam's dad to have any girl around my son because i know that they're just temporary you just gotta be sure who you bring around your kids all right me throwing shade again can i just talk without throwing shade like damn I'm gonna start doing these little tea videos. I usually do them tea Thursdays on Instagram, but you guys requested it on YouTube this time, so I was like, why not? Let's do it. Um, so if you guys are interested to see another tea Thursday, go ahead and check me out on Instagram. I normally do them over there, but if not, I'll do them here. Um, I'll probably do a little mixture of both. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. It is Mireya 2 as MUA. All of my coupon codes are Mireya MUA as well. Uh, so yeah, I just make it easy for everyone. Look, I'm telling you guys, this eye is like closed. Um, what else? Uh, la, 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 la. Don't forget to share this video with your friends because I know that we're all in quarantine. Um, so we're all bored or whatever. I do catch myself watching random videos on YouTube, um, especially on tiktok i'd be on tiktok for like three hours and i don't even notice i became a tiktoker if you guys want to tag me in any tiktoks to make go ahead and do that um tiktok is pretty fun and since i got nothing to do um why not don't forget to wash your hands guys stay safe i will be seeing you guys in the next one actually let's do a little giveaway i have a lot of things in my beauty room so i can give away to you guys so hold on let me come right back. okay guys so i Put a little box together of, of goodies. Let me go ahead and show you guys. I'm going to be giving away this palette right here. I'm going to give away that, that Crown Pro palette. This other palette that's right here. These are the shades that it has. I'm already boxing it just so I can ship it out as soon as possible. I hate like keeping them there. This Urban Decay Brow Box. And then these lashes right here, which will be available soon on the My Bravo Box website. The, these Red Rose lashes right here. Um, and then last but not least, these ColourPop lashes. So I'm going to be shipping all of this box for someone. So in order to win this box of goodies, all you have to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to comment something where I can reach you. So like your Instagram name or your Snapchat name or your email um, or your social security number. And no, I'm just kidding. I know that someone can use it right now, honestly. We're all bored in the house and the house bored. <laughs> I've been having TikTok songs stuck in my head all day. Guys, I love you guys all so much and I'll see you guys in my next one.